Hey, how's it going, Andy? My name is Doug Doherty. I live in downtown San Diego. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video that I made for you. I made this video to give you a better understanding and to see your position on Google and the internet and to see if new prospects in San Diego when looking for a house um, or a condo or anything in that nature, can they find you and your service to provide that? All right, so as you can see, we're on my uh, one of my business pages here. Uh, my company's Amp Local. We're experts in web design and we're a specialist in SEO. All right, so I'm gonna jump straight into the video. Um, I may explain some things to you uh, that you might have already heard, or, and you'll probably hear things that you haven't heard before. So just bear with me, I'm gonna cover some basics, um, but this is gonna give you a clear picture of where I'm coming from and why SEO is so important to having a website. It's like putting fuel and wheels on your vehicle, okay? So as we can see, we're on uh, your website here. Um, so 80% 80, 80 of people, actually 82%, um, when they need a product or service, they're going to use Google. All right, Google is the most popular way to extract information from the Internet. So what they're going to do is they're going to go to Google, type in their city and that service or that product. To, so to find you and your service, um, they would have to type in real estate San Diego, okay, naturally. So there's many keywords that you can use. And you want to dominate on Google using all those keywords, but real estate is going to pull you the most amount of of leads of searches. All right, so real estate average 3.3 million per month in January. It's going to try to. It's probably going to pull about seven million searches. So that's why you want to be. You want to really want to dominate and focus um, on that keyword uh, for Google. All right. Um, so to find you, we typed in real estate San Diego, okay? And I found you ranked right here, number 46, all right? And this is page five of Google, number 46. Now I understand um, you provide for all of San Diego, but your office is in La Jolla. So for just for fun, I went to go to La Jolla. I typed in real estate La Jolla, and your pages started to pop up under rank number 17 this is page two now these are very motivated buyers all right these are people really looking to, to buy a condo or uh, a house or rent or anything like that of that nature all right so for them to go in and type that that means they got money and they want to spend it so these are hot leads and you want to dominate google's rankings to get them okay so number 17 for la jolla all right so let me show you this chart real quick this chart shows you who gets all of the market from that search okay the number one ranked person in each search gets 34% of the clicks. That's huge. That's over a third of all the clicks. Number 15, which is on page two, which is close to where you're at for La Jolla, um, you're barely getting 1% of that. Okay, and for as a market as a whole for San Diego, you're getting no no traffic uh, through Google. Okay. All right. So what are some reasons why this is happening? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain some things. Um, and uh, try to show you what my company can do to better uh, grow your business and get these problems fixed, okay? So, there's 200 determining factors in Google's algorithm. Um, I'm not gonna talk about all of them, just have you here for a few minutes. So I'm just gonna talk about four of the very, very most important ones, okay? The first one I wanna talk to you about is content, all right? So content, when we go to your webpage, do you have authoritative content that is relevant to the topic? To real estate um, in San Diego, all right. Are you mentioning uh, condos for sale? You know, rent, buy, real estate, uh, homes, houses. All of these keywords are so uh, uh, important to have mentioned on here because it's what Google looks at. Are keywords highlighted, uh, bolded, and underlined? All right. So. Authoritative content you have um, you have about three or four paragraphs here some short material um, But when I'm talking about authoritative content, we really need to have 1,000 to 200,000 word, uh, 1,000 to 2,000 words of elaborated relevant material. Let me give you an example of what that looks like So I went to Google and I typed in elephant. Okay, you can do this with any search, but look what types Look what pops number one Wikipedia Wikipedia is notorious for popping up as number one because of look at their authoritative content there's endless endless and amounts of information on elephants where they live where they're from what they eat their history the evolution 
everything you need to know about elephants is here. This is probably 20,000 plus words. I'm just giving you an idea. I'm not going to keep scrolling through it. But that's just an example. We want to have 1,000 to 2,000 rel words of relevant material mentioning these keywords so that when someone types in real estate San Diego, you Google's going to give you a higher position because of your relevant material. Okay. Next, I want to talk to you about listings. We also call these citations. These are very important. This is how we get our name and our product out on the market. People using directories, for example, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yelp, Yellow Pages, White Pages, all right, they're using these to find uh, real estate in San Diego. So it's very important to be in them, all right. And when we do them, business name, address, phone number have to be identical in all of them. So you're in Bing and Yelp here. It looks like you have a different address for Foursquare. But the main, main thing that's hurting you is look at all these missing listings. You're not listed in so many. This is the top 50 in the country. And you're missing out on all these valuable leads, all these people. I guarantee you people are looking for real estate in these listings. And they don't see you for San Diego. All right. Not to mention, not, not, that's, that's important, getting these leads out of these here, but most importantly, it's affecting your Google rankings because Google's not taking you serious because you don't have all these listings, all right? Now, this is just 50. There's thousands of these, but I, I highly recommend to be competitive with your competitors, you want to have three, four, even 500 of these listings. It's so important, all right, and it's so commonly missed, but it's all about knowing where to find them um, and how to get listed. Okay, a lot of them are free. It's just time consuming and how do you find them? Where are they at? All right, um, so that's the listings part. So I want to move on from that. Next, being mobile friendly. So 60% of people, when they're looking for that service or product, they're actually going to use their smart device, iPhone or Android. All right, um, so I did my scan with my tool here. It looks like your site is mobile friendly, so very good. It's not going to um, overtake and make up for the other ones but it's definitely something Google takes seriously so very good on having that all right the fourth and final thing I want to talk to you about are backlinks we also call these influence pages um, so say you get a client thoroughly impressed you know with the customer service with the house they bought everything um, they have a website maybe a blog or they write articles what they'll do is actually post an article about their experience that they want to share with people, then they'll actually link your website to uh, from that article. All right, so anyone reading that article can actually click the link and go directly to your website. Now you have a new prospect. All right, so this is huge. Um, this creates more business for you, but more. What is even bigger than that in Google's eyes, it takes this as votes. Okay, you've earned a vote. It's just like the presidency and running for government positions and a cabinet and mayor. You know, you have to have a certain number of votes to win the bout, right? Um, and that's exactly what Google is. It's a popularity contest. You have to get votes. So that's what backlinks are. So I did a scan with my tool here. Um, a lot of numbers. You're probably like, what are all these numbers? Okay, two numbers I want you to pay attention to. The first one is unique domains right here. And the second one is trust flow right here. Okay. So, trust flow is the quality of the domains. Okay, how good are these domains? That's what we're point. That's what I want you to see right now. Okay, so for seven fifteen, I can tell you, looking at these numbers, I can tell you've been selling some houses for a while, and that's very good. You've had you've set aside some people, a lot of people, and they've they've written articles and posted and mentioned you across the internet uh, a lot. Okay. Um, but the trust flow of 18 is what concerns me, and it's what's um, what's knocking you down in the rankings. It's part of it. All right, so let me show you this chart. This shows you the quality of those uh, high qual of those domains. Okay, so low quality is actually going to be around five. Medium quality is going to be around 15. High quality is going to be around 20. Okay, so you're probably you're in between a medium and high quality right now. Um, but these domains actually go even more higher quality up to 30, okay? And it, you can't see that on this chart here. Um, what I do is actually I purchase high quality domains that are 25 and 30 trust influence. Um, so they're very high visibility. And I post, leg I write legitimate professional articles about your company and I link them to your website. All right, so when Google... 
uh, when someone's searching for real estate in San Diego, they're going to be able to see your company, your website, and see the number of votes that you have from my high quality domains. So this number of 715 over time with me, it's going to dramatically increase and your trust flow is dramatically going to increase to 25 to 30. So that is um, one way that we can track to the progress. So this is very important stuff. Um, again, I appreciate the time you took to watch this video. Um, if any of this makes sense uh, for you and your company, I would really love to have a conversation with you about it. Um, you know, I'm not 100% sure uh, what, you know, it is to flip a house. You know, how much do you make off of that, uh, you know, 10, 20, 100,000? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure that it's worth the monthly cost for some great SEO work. All right, the, the return on your investment is astronomical. So um, I left my name, my number, and my email address. I also wrote a proposal and included my products and services, um, offer an array of services uh, that can actually also um, better the, the efficiency of your organization as far as your email and phone calls. Um, so that's something to look into if you're interested as well. Um, but again, thank you for your time. Love to hear back from you, uh, and you have a great day.